Right then, so this is the second video for the double angles lesson. Uh, this is quite nice. So it says, uh, if theta is an angle such that cot theta is 3, find an exact value for cot 2 theta. Oh, it's like a tender. Now, I get my cots all over the, my cot, my cosec, my sec. I need to think about the reciprocals. So I know that cot theta is 1 over 10 theta. So if cot theta is 3, if I flip it, I know that tan theta is a third. Now it's saying exact values. So up here as well, I guess I should, uh, it doesn't say exact there, does it? So it's saying exact values. So once again, that's telling me it's a hint that I need to draw a triangle for it. So, so there's my theta, one, three. So what's that going to be then? Root 10, is it? Or do I need root 10? Who knows, I might not even need it. So let's have a think now for the other one. So I've got that there, just in case I need it. Uh, so cot 2 theta now. So I know that cot 2 theta is 1 over tan 2 theta. So if I find tan 2 theta first, so I don't actually need the triangle for this, do I? So tan 2 theta is 2 lots of tan theta over 1 minus tan theta squared. Um, so tan 2 theta will give me, so what's that? Oh my word, and I have 8, so it's 2 thirds over 8 over 9. I think that gives us 3 quarters. So that means then that cot 2 theta, because it's 1 over tan 2 theta, will be 4 thirds. Um, just make sure I've done that right in my head. Oh, do what's quite nice now. Oh, oh, oh. Get an even better example next. How good is that? Uh, let's have a look. So we're on example three, which is page 14. Right then. Hmm. So let's have a look at this question. What's it asking me to do? It's asking me to solve it. It's a trig function. This here at the moment is wrong. What I want is something all in terms of sine. So I want something or an equation in terms of sine theta. Now I know that cos 2 theta, because this is the one I remember, is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So if I want something all in terms of sine, I need to replace the sine squared with one, uh, the cos squared with one minus sine squared. So if I can't remember it, I just replace the cos squared with one minus sine squared, I get one minus two sine squared theta. So that's what I'm going to replace this with. So I've got one minus two sine squared theta plus three sine theta is equal to two. If I rearrange it as a quadratic, If I put it into poly, I get sine theta is a half, or sine theta is one. I'm in radians, going from naught to pi. Now I know the inverse sine of a half is 30 degrees. So in radians, theta is going to be pi by six. I know that on the sine graph, the Sine, inverse sine of 1 is 90 degrees, so I know that that's going to be pi by 2. From, you can graph it on your calculators, uh, but what you should get, if I draw a little picture here to show, so here's my naught to 2 pi, that's what you get on your calculator. So where it's at 1, is that one there for pi by 2, and I've got them two for where it's at a half. So my final answers will be theta is pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. And then I've also got pi by 2 radians there. I've been a bit naughty. Be really careful with these fractions, doing them as a, a slanty line, because it can get a bit confusing. So there's one there for you to change. So I'm going to change the cos 2 theta, and I want it in terms 
So write an equation in terms of uh, cos theta. So I want to think about my cos squared minus sine squared and change it into 1 minus cos squared. So I'm going to get 2 cos squared minus 1 and put that into the quadratic. See what you get. Shall I do a reveal? Boing. So you should get that. For example, 3. So just have a go at that. Hopefully you got that. All right, have we got time? Let's have a look at example four. Whoa, look at this one. So I've got sine two theta. So I know I'm going to change sine two theta into two sine theta cos theta, because I remembered that one. So if I swap that, it's going to be 14 sine theta cos theta is nine sine theta. Now I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you something where people go wrong. Do not do this. Just watch this bit. What people do is, I'm going to just undo it on the board in a minute. People cancel out the sign and they say, all right, I've got 14 cos theta is 9. So cos theta is 9 over 14. The problem is you've deleted the sign out and you don't want to do that. So you cannot cancel. So do not. Or actually, I need to do the, um, the undo bit first, don't I? Before I do this, let's do an undo. Press undo again. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right, so I'll write it now. Do not cancel out sine theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sine theta onto the other side. So I've got 14 sine theta cos theta minus 9 sine theta is 0. And then I'm going to take out sine theta as a factor. So then I've got this one here, which if you cancel, you just lose all your solutions to that. So you can't do that because you lose solutions. And from there, I know that for sine of zero, so all I've got, so I'm looking between naught and two pi. And be careful with this as well, because it might just put a less than instead of less than or equal to. It might be a little bit sneaky. So that will give you a theta is zero. So from your graph, your final answers will be zero, pi, and two pi. For this one, for cos of nine over 14, oops. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, what do we get for that one? We get 0.873 according to the completed pack. And then if you look on your calculator, you'll get 0.873, and you'll get 5.41, which is 2 pi take away 0.873. But well, your calculator does it for you. Whew, right then, let's have a look on the next page. So I have the quite, do you know what I like these? Do you remember we keep saying to you, if we get the basics of trig right, it just helps us along. And it really does, it really does. Because we don't have to worry about it. It's just a bit of algebra, really. Right, so look at this next page. Oh my word. So this is talking about kind of half angling. Oof, that's quite tough to do, that one. People kind of struggle with that. Uh, I'm hitting nine minutes, so I'm going to stop and I'll restart it with that one.